Hello artists, thanks for tuning in. Now hit that make something button because it's time for Our brains take in a lot of information and things that we see all the time become very familiar to us. Because of this, we start to make assumptions. We simplify common things. Our brains say, yeah, yeah, I got it. Let's look at an example. Think of a tree. If someone asked you to draw a tree, you might start with something like this. As we get older and practice more, we may give it a little more shape. Even more study could get us to something like this. The best way to improve our skills is to draw from observation. Basically, instead of drawing what you think a tree looks like, you go find a tree and draw that tree. For today's lesson, you're gonna need a pencil and some paper. Today, we are going to draw this. When drawing from observation, we want to look at what we are drawing a lot. Get in a place where you can easily view what you've set up. Pause often to look at it. Draw, look, draw, look, repeat. Notice, where do things overlap? What is in front? What can't be seen because it's behind something else? What angles do you see? Ask, how many? How many petals, branches, or bananas? Is the surface bumpy or smooth? Try to take in as many details as you can. Do this as often as you can. Draw someone you know, draw buildings, nature, even your lunch. Just keep drawing. Our friends, we totally did it. All right, Sally, it's your turn to start the squiggle game.